boys. The atmosphere's bobbins. Grab that tambourine. All right, Dad, let's kick a good beat. Meat pie, sausage roll. Come on, hold them, kiss a go. Meat pie, sausage roll. Come on, hold them, kiss a go. Ooh, we got a corner. Ooh, we got a corner. Hello and welcome to Pork Pie Sausage Roll. Come on, old and give us a go. And it's episode 23. We're still in the Premiership. Um, I'll show you where we are at the moment. We're mid-table. It's only been six games. We've managed to win three and we've managed to lose three. We've drawn none and we've got a goal difference of zero. Um, obviously, we did some strengthening in the uh, close season, which I'll come on to later. But if we have a quick look at the fixtures, we had a good pre-season. But we've had some interesting results. We lost 2-1 against Arsenal in our first game, which is not too surprising. It's Arsenal, right? Um, but we beat Cardiff 3-0. Uh, sorry, 3-1 in the next game. That was a decent game. Lost to Newcastle 1-0. But then we had a fabulous couple of wins. 2-1 over Man City at home and 1-0 uh, over Liverpool at home. And then ruined it all by losing 3-1 to Bournemouth straight after that. So... Uh, Currently, we're through to the third round of the Carabao Cup because we beat Bristol Rovers 3-0. But today's game that we're going to see is Everton um, away. So, quite an important game. But as you can see from the actual league itself, as I say, we're in 10th. Man United, Chelsea, Everton, Liverpool, Tottenham. They're the top five. Um, City down in 8th, which you might not like, <laughs> I guess, at this point. But uh, if you look at Man United... They got a massive goal difference, and they are just dominating everybody. Um, I'm curious to see their schedule, but yeah, they're just they're just killing people for fun here. Birmingham three 0 Wolves five 0 Man City four one, Stoke three one. Um, penalty win. Oh, sorry, penalty loss. Sorry, with against Paris Saint Germain, but they beat Leicester five one, West Ham two one, and Newcastle two 0 So they're rolling on. Manchester United are looking the team to beat this season, which. It isn't really a challenge for Oldham because uh, we are still in the building process. We have done quite a bit of business in the close season. Um, our wage budget, in fact, let's start with that. Our wage budget, we are slightly over, which is fine. I say that. We haven't made any uh, sales to uh, change that. But like I say, we are slightly over our wage budget. Um, and I will show you exactly what we've been doing with it as you know there's been a few players out um one of them was an absolute screw up we wanted to get rid of ronan curtis he's on loan at the moment um but he's not going to be staying at the end of his contract he's clearly not premiership level and has not been able to perform in that respect um but i screwed up with El uh, elias sechi i uh gave him a new contract didn't check his uh, minimum f fee release just wasn't paying attention I was like yeah 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 i need to move on and Guess what happened? He went to Newcastle for only two million. So a uh, bit disappointed in that, but he's done all right for them. So since he started, it's good for him. But it just left us a bit tight up front. Iverson, I sold on to Espanyol. He wanted to be first choice, and it wasn't going to happen. Um, Jose's out on loan. He's not going to get back in the side. Um, and the rest of people out on loan are, are generally people who are just under development. But in terms of who we brought in, Tyrone Mings. One of the top ones. He's uh, a left back slash centre half. He has been playing mostly at left back, to be fair, as a wing back. Um, but again, he's had a good start. He's 29. He's probably got a couple more seasons with us, but we needed to strengthen up back there. Lucas Evangelista. He's been brilliant. Uh, another FC Nantes player, um, central midfielder. Again, he'll be with us a little while, I think. He's got a good few years. He's Brazilian, um, but yeah, he's not done bad. In seven games, or seven starts, should I say. We then have Fakamani Malambi. We signed him from Newcastle, um, and he's been superb. I am absolutely delighted with how well he's done. Um, playing out as an inside forward on the right. He's our top scorer at the moment. Six starts, four goals, two assists. He's just been brilliant. So, tremendously happy with that signing. I think that was a great one. As I say, we did pay for him. Eight and a half million. But it's already paying off, so I'm quite happy about that. Florin Anden, we bought from Bournemouth for two and a half million. Yeah. He's not been very good, to be honest with you, but that's fine. We need we were desperate for a striker to replace um, Sechi, and I wanted somebody with a bit of premiership experience. And uh, he was the first guy that came up. He's not been awful, awful. He's just not been very good. So uh, he's not going to set the world alight. He's only here for a season. 
realistically i don't think i'll keep him i know he's here for two seasons <laughs> anyway beyond that we have matt doherty who we brought in from uh, wolves again needed a, a right wing back and he's been all right um he's put the rotation for right back so that's good but yeah he's been fine he's more of a well again i wanted somebody with a bit more experience put it that way and uh like i say he's uh, been pretty solid Rakim Harper came in from West Brom. He's a central midfielder. Again, still trying to build up that central midfield. He's great. Younger player. Still got a bit of development to do, but uh, he's not done bad for us. And as you can see, he's already starting to improve. Very, very good physicals. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping to see more out of him. Six starts, one sub appearance. He hasn't managed to uh, score a goal or anything yet. So, Or indeed, manage an assist. But nevertheless, he's he's uh, he looks very, very good. Liam Brook, we brought in from Leeds for just under four million. Um, another fallback again, youngster this time. I'm trying to uh, build up a wee bit for the future, so hopefully he's got some development in him. Um, he does look promising. He's managed a couple of sub appearances and done all right. So at the end of the day, he's not quite first team ready. And then we've got last but not least, I needed I kind of knee jerk reaction brought Dean Henderson, who has actually more or less become our first choice goalkeeper. Um, he was there sort of for backup. He wanted to come. He wasn't happy at Man United, so uh, we brought him in. Obviously, he's keeping Baddy Ashiel out the side. Um, I am trying to uh, rotate the two in. But as you can say, that was that took all my money, and that was that. So if we look actually at the uh, team report and the squad depth in terms of what we're playing, as you can see, we're not doing too bad. Going to need, at the end of the season, probably another defensive midfielder. Probably another central midfielder, and um, Castroville is probably going to get replaced as well. Um, Van Louis just come back from injury. Um, he's still not fit yet, bless him. So we'll see how he gets on. He hasn't played a game this season yet, I don't think. No, he's not. So uh, he had an average season last season in the Premiership. We'll see if he can do better this time. He is, of course, our top striker, even though he's a, a youngster at 20 years old. Um, but hopefully he will do well. Yeah, he's had a bit of a physical deterioration after his um, injury. So hopefully that'll pick back up and he will do all right. So yeah, that's where we stand. Um, like I say, there's not really going to be any business to do in the new year. We're going to probably have to play out this season with this team. It's a weirdly inconsistent in terms of who we can beat and who we can't. On our day, we're brilliant. But I think it is you know a lack of uh, quality and depth in the squad which i'm just gonna have to work on and carry on in terms of our finances we are still making profit i think i say that i think um but uh, i haven't started killing the wage budget as yet so yes today's game will be against everton and that is coming up next Alrighty, it is time for Oldham away at Everton. In goal, it is Henderson. Back four of Panzo, Lakaviti, Harkins and Doherty. Defensive midfield, Vanden Boom. Vanden Boomen, sorry. He cuts it off. Harper and Mauche, central midfield. Left, left wing, Castrovilli. Right wing, Malambi. Up front, it's Andone. Or Andon. Um, yeah, Lakaviti and Harkins. They're solid enough, but again need a star in there and unfortunately van den Boomen, from where i bought him to start last season obviously his quality has uh you know reduced that being said he plays very well he is a good good player so i'm very happy with that all right well interestingly enough ole gunnar solskjaer is the uh everton manager so uh obviously man united are doing really well you know despite him not being there which is interesting um we should carry on where we left off Let's give the fans a performance to cheer for. Even though we have the lowest attendance in the league, I think. All right, tunnel interview. Your team selection offered little by way of surprises today. Are you confident ahead of kickoff? There you go. Strong team, picked itself. I kind of need to... Uh... Oh, yeah, Oldham in the blue with the white shorts. Oh, no, it isn't. Oldham are in the tangerine. Everton are in the blue with the white shorts. And then puts it out wide for Malambi. Tries to cut it in. Picked it. Oh, nearly. Henry on the counter-attack for Everton. He's got legs. Good Lord. Hawkins just tackled him. Or should I say fouled him. Just going to put us down to cautious because, oh crikey. Oh my goodness. They're already 1-0 up from a free kick. That was scrappy as all heck. 
That was scrappy as all heck. Um, what do we say? I think we need to counter press them if they're going to play that. Well, there you go. One minute. Everton 1 0 up. Sensi with the cord. And there we go. Adebayo. Forest. I don't know. Whoever scored. Good for you. Let's uh, let's keep things as they are. Van den Boom and now Castrovilli and Don tries to put it for Castrovilli. It's been a lot of dodgy passing going on. Vlasic on the ball for Everton. Henry's coming forward. There we go. Vlasic now has a long shot and it is high and wide. We're on cautious, but I'm gonna go back to positive again. Let's try uh. Henderson with a goal kick. Lack of Vitti. Henderson with the ball forward. Castrovilli. Little ball. Couldn't make it. Nice effort though. I want to be able to get creative. I think I'm going to go on to key highlights. Throw in. Sensi picks it up for Everton. Vlasic's coming forward for Everton. Henry's there with the cross. Panzo clears it only as far as Henry. Henry has a go, but Henderson gets down to save it. Well, they're just getting all over us, aren't they, really? Oh, we've had a shot. Oh, wow. Get creative, boys. Come on. Throwing for Everton. Kenny to take it. Oh, Van den Boomen tackles him. Van den Boomen on a run forward. Ball over. Cleared for Silver, but Marlambi picks it up. Rebound there. Forrest now for Everton. Richardson. Kenny. Oh, Richardson finds him again. Good Lord. Tries to get it past the keeper. Henderson grabs it. Well, come on, boys. We can do better than that. Let's demand more. We can score goals. Castrovilli's already not playing great. Pickford with the goal kick for Everton. Only finds Doherty, Forrest, Vlasic, Van den Boomen picks it up. Lakovitti, Harper, out to Castrovilli. Van den Boomen finds Panzo, puts a cross in. Oh, Marlambi was there. He's the fifth goal of the season. He's still our top scorer. Fabulous right winger. Very, very happy with him. Yeah. Van den Boomen puts it out for Panzo. Panzo's been pretty good. Lovely cross in. And there's Marlambi on the end of it. First time. Very happy Marlambi. That's Everton 1, Oldham 1. It's not even half time yet. Well done, boys. Just a mum more again, because uh, I'm happy with that. Throw him for Everton. At our end. Vlasic. Trying to have a go. Sigerson. Oh, and Sensi gets it. 2-1. Stefano Sensi. That's his first goal of the season. But yeah, lovely uh, assist there by Sigurdsson. I shouldn't be happy, but you know what I mean. Yeah, no sensey. What can you say? It's a very nice goal. I didn't like conceding it, but what are you going to do? Um, let's show some passion. Oh, Malembi. He's on our own. He's got sport. Castro really has a go, and it's just wide. Come on, Oldham. You can do this. Okay, it's half time. Everton 2, Oldham 1. We're not doing bad. We are not doing bad at all. And uh, I really want to say that. We have been the better team. In many ways. Well, Halkins, you're not doing great. Oh, but you're not doing as badly as Hakim. Uh, sorry, Rekim Harper. As, being, as opposed to... Hekim Rapa. But anyway, he needs to come off, doesn't he? Bless him. Well, we'll do that elsewhere. Let's go into tactics. Who's going to come on? Marks Brown? No. Oh, Evangelista. There you go. He's been pretty solid. Um, <laughs> Doherty's a bit tired. Matt Doherty. I don't know. 
I could bring on Brooke for you, but I kind of want to leave you where you are for now. Especially as maybe Hawkins is going to come off for Nelson, maybe. Yeah. Still need a decent centre-half or a next-level centre-half. Unfortunately. Let's show some passion. Richardson coming forward. Oh, <laughs> my goodness. Finds Forrest on the edge of the box, and they shoots and scores, and that's your lot. That's disgusting. I don't know that we did anything, really, from the kickoff. Richardson. Forrest. It's just there. Ah. Let's try that. Oh, Oldham. Sigerson. Saved by Henderson, cleared by Nelson. But Lacoviti, look at that. His, uh, oh, I don't need to see that. It's not gone in. Gone in, Brooke. You're in. Can you swap with Doherty? Not really. It'll just have to do. It's a horrible situation. Come on, Morgan. Come on, Oldham. So, yeah, that feels like part of my issue is when the defence isn't playing particularly well. For whatever reason, we just leak. Go oh, Christ. Yeah, well. What are you going to do? Down to 10 men. It's pretty horrible. Richardson coming forward for Everton. Cuts in. Puts the ball across. Henry's there. And well saved by Henderson. Yeah, Liam Brook does need to hold off. 70th minute. Everton's corner. Henderson claims it. Don't know what to say. Same, same old, same old, really. Castrovilli has been really disappointing. He's got to go. Or at least, you know, have somebody come in who's better. On his day, he's great, but he's just too inconsistent. Well, they're just passing it around our uh, area for fun. Let's go very attacking, just scare the crap out of them for a minute. I know we haven't actually picked up the ball or anything. Oh, my goodness. Vlasic nearly got one there. Push forward. Let's go defensive. I forgot we're <laughs> with 10 men, aren't we? Oh, Henderson. Vlasic's goal. He wanted one. This is just a th thrubbing now. It's frustrating. Henry finds Vlasic and Henderson. Doesn't do enough. Dan Henderson. Hang on. It's not Dan Henderson, is it? He's a UFC fighter. It's Dean Henderson. Or an ex-UFC fighter. Oh my god. It's like a joke, isn't it? But not a very good one. Show some passion, would you? Four one. Can we make it four two? And Dunn at least has played half decently today, but Castrovilli's been utter tripe. Nice you lot. Not a lot to sort of commentate on there when it's that bad. But yeah, Everton 4, Oldham 1. Very unhappy with that result. Okay, let's finish up with a little review. After that 4-1 beating by Everton, we are down to 13th. Uh, minus 3 goal difference, 9 points after 7 games. We have haven't drawn a game yet either. It's uh, 4 losses, 3 wins. It's really hit and miss, really kind of weird. Um, we're going to have to sort of work on our form a little bit and obviously plan where we're going from here. But as you can see, our, our, our defensive situation is a little bit dire, so that needs some work. We also could do with a little bit more depth in central midfield, but we're getting there. And of course, we could also do with a genius striker and a left winger. So, you know, we need everything pretty much. Oh, I didn't mention a deep line playmaker. We need that as well. But uh, the unfortunate thing is poor old Van den Boom got injured in that one. He is now out for two to four weeks, which is not ideal. Um, we do have depth and support for him, but it's not exactly the ideal situation. So, slightly frustrated. We are only doing the one game instead of two because I'm going to be doing more regular videos. The pork pie sausage roll save is going to be my only save now until FM20 comes into beta. 
um, at which point we'll close it off. Um, but the two manager project is being retired. There will be a final sort of summing up episode of everything we've done, what our targets were and where we actually got to in relation to them, um, which is not to reach them. Um, it was it was a lot to do, um, but I really enjoyed it and that's been fantastic. But I have to start planning now. I've got an idea of what I want to be doing in FM20 um, and obviously I want to see if I can win some trophies with Oldham because that would be really nice, especially considering how they're doing in real life. Um, pretty terrible. Anyway, if you enjoyed that, please do give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more Football Manager videos. Thank you very much for watching.